Let's get some women right now. Let's do this. I head back towards the Pius Lounge. So far, every time I pass through the lounge has been full of students. I'm sure I'll either meet someone cool and or find something interesting to do there. When I enter the lounge, I'm surprised to see a crowd of students a crowd surrounding the bar. I can't make out anything intelligible from the jumble of words and voices, but it must be something big based on the sheer level of excitement in the room. I bet it's a hot chick. Are they giving out free food? I force my way through the thread of people much to the dismay of those beside me. Regardless, I ignore their protests, protests and continue to make my way until I hear the pilot mentions beside me mention something about an Akira. That sounds suspiciously like a person and not enough like a food. <laughs> I, turn, I turn towards the two girls I just overheard. Um, hey. Hi. Oh, you fucking know what? I will murder you. What's an Akira? I think you mean who is an Akira. I'll fucking kill you. Oh, well, there goes my chances for a free lunch. <laughs> that, okay, that's, that's me. Like, oh man. Free lunch over hot chick any day of the week. Absolutely. No judgment. No, no contest. I could have really used an onigiri right now, too. On, I, on, I don't know how you say that exactly. Okay, who's Akira? I do Kira? not know who he is. He's okay, only the top it's a pilot dude. and ace. I'm upset by that. I'm so nice, too. Oh, that's why there's females all around. Yeah, he listens to you when you talk and treats everyone like they're important. Wow! <laughs> Unheard of! Lucy's a total dreamboat. The first pilot blushes and her friend laughs. Right, but the qualifiers haven't happened yet. You mean from last He's year's been rankings? He's top pilot since his first year here. Since yeah, first year? He was on his team starting lineup. There's four people! Okay! So, what year is he now? Third year. They sigh wistfully. Suddenly, the first student perks up and grabs oh, her friend. Look at me! Did you see that? Oh, God. This is bad news, Bears. Is, I mean, you know, like, it was obviously already bad news, Bears, but, like, that? Bad news. What? Why didn't he notice me? Senpai. Oh my god! Yeah, okay, I get I know where this is going. Okay, fine. As Von Q, a path forms amid, amid the throng of people, and a male pilot with white hair and kind eyes walks through. He's laughing with the group of girls surrounding him. Our eyes meet for a second, his calm smile still intact. That can't be right. He must have recognized someone behind me and smiled at them. Regardless, after the departure of Akira and his group, the lounge feels quieter even though it's full, still full of students. Pilots turn back to whatever programs they were watching or order drinks at the bar. Others return to the games they were originally playing. I stand awkwardly on my own. I don't see anyone I recognize. Everyone seems to be, on, be intent on their own thing, so I decide to head home. It's getting late anyway. Okay. Interesting. I head to the parking lot and grab my bike. Then I head home. This is kind of interesting. I'm not sure who this dude is, or why I can't see Boo again. Enter the house, blah blah blah. I can't drop my bag on the floor since his family needs a lot of smell of that. Hey. Hey. Blah. Sit at the table and watch Nikki and Uncle Kaito move around the kitchen. They're wearing matching aprons. Looking good, Uncle. That apron really suits you. Brings out your eyes. That's it. I'm done. He turns off the apron and tosses you it aside. You said I'd look cool. So, okay, well. Giggles and goes back to the food she's cooking. You did look cool. Every lady loves a man who can cook. That's true. That's why nobody loves me. And I love a lady who cooks Amen. for me. Yeah, my boy. Kaito sits beside me. We laugh as Nikki sticks her tongue out Amen. at us. So what are we having? Yes. Oh my god, not this again. How's Last. your day, bud? How's my day? It is yeah. alright. What kind of shenanigans did you get up to? Nothing major. I had class this morning, checked out my gear afterwards. Uh, some of my teammates showed up and we had a practice Sounds simulation. Fun. Yeah, it's great. It was. I think we'll Who make a good team. team. Show myself and good a couple girls. girls. In... <laughs> they're good looking, but they're kind of like bad. Nice shrug. Yeah, I guess. Had a wink to me and I just shake my head. Nikki places full plates in front of us, then removes her apron and joins us at the table. What else did you get up to today? I hung out on the pilot's lounge for a cool. bit. It's great. 
He's uh, fantastic. I actually learned about a lot about this guy named Akira. He's the top pilot in the program. So he's your rival. Woman? Rival? Yeah, these types of stories always need a villainous rival. Ah! See you again with that fourth wall shit. Um, well, he's actually a pretty nice guy. Well really? liked. Is he cute? How should I know? I need to use that more often. Did the girls think he was cute? That would be a big fat yes. Accomplished, polite, and cute. You could learn a thing from hey, him. Hey, I can't help my dashing good looks. I don't need to learn from him. At least not in the looks department. Maybe in the, like, polite and accomplished department, but... Screw you! What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. You love me. Fucking kill yourself. <laughs> I thought that was me for a second. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. That was good. That was good. You got me, game. I thought that was me. <laughs> oh my god. All right, ten out of ten. <laughs> oh God. Okay. Jido cleans his plate, then rests a hand on his stomach and lets out a loud belch. Okay, that was him. Nikki and I blink at I him. I was simply complimenting the chef. Yeah, my boy. I should do the same. I open my mouth to burp when Nikki squeals Please don't. in protest. I'd rather not have them. You know what? Kaito and I laugh as Nikki clears the table. I would love an uncle like this, you know what I'm saying? Then Kaito rests the hands on, like on my shoulder. Like day, bud. Sure have. It'll get easier once I'm in the swing of, of things. Wanna watch a movie or something before you two head to bed? What kind of movie? I don't almost say yes, but a long yawn escapes my mouth. I'm pretty fried. I think I might go review some notes, then go to bed early. I've got a lot of That's qualifiers fair. tomorrow. Nick. I'll join you when I'm done cleaning. Cleaning. I'll help you. Thanks. Like a woman. Jeez. I stand up and Kaito and Nikki both wave. Good night. Good night. Oh, no, she's not Boo. She's my fucking sister. I wave back and head to my room. In my room, I crawl to bed and grab my. Oh, I thought I said. <laughs> okay. I thought it said I grabbed my toilet. <laughs> ah! I'm, I'm, I'm losing it, guys. In my room, I crawl to bed and grab my tablet to review notes from today's class. I'm only part way through, my eyes grow heavy, and I can't read any longer. I flick off the light and close my eyes. As I drift off to sleep, I dream of tomorrow's qualifiers. I'm about to be this fucking shit right here. It's about to be this shit. For usual, I'm woken by the blare of my alarm, which just happens to be this game's theme song, but today I don't hesitate to get the fuck out of bed. I have a really busy day ahead of me, I can't afford to lounge around. As I get dressed as I head downstairs, as I pass Nikki's room, I notice her door's open and her room is empty. She must be in the kitchen. When I reach the kitchen, no one is there. Uncle Kaito is always gone before I wake up, but usually Nikki's around. There must be something good going on at her school today, which is why she left early. I fix myself a quick breakfast and scarf it down, then I hop on my bike and head to school. She probably is doing something weird. Once I reach campus, I navigate to my class easily. Hey, I'm getting used to this place. Imagine that. As soon as I walk into class, oh, yes! Is this my history of robotics class or whatever? The next side door is empty, so I head over. When I get close, I notice a bag on the chair. She smiles and no, the bag. No, I was saving it for you. Aw, God, you're so sweet. My smile matches hers as I plop down beside her. Thanks. No problem. You are so nice. Oh my gosh. So what do you think that the professor will be like? I heard she's pretty good. She's tough, but fair. I appreciate those kinds of teachers. That sounds promising. Before she can respond, the professor enters the room and heads straight for the front desk. Welcome to History 201. Today we'll be covering... I want to have class with Boo, though! Ah! I gotta make some shitty jokes. And compliment her... Unit for <laughs> never mind. The lesson lasts a while, but the material's not bad. I mean, it's history robotics. It's not that bad. God. We only have a few minutes before class ends, but your first assignment. Oh, is you know what that means. Study of your choice. Yes, sir. Class, I'll be assigning your partners. Oh. Damn your shit. I was gonna boo. Oh. Okay. You and you are partners. 
Absolutely, yes. She points to Yuna and I. Well, as if that was a surprise. We glance at each other and grin. Working with her should Your be fun. Project will be due next week. Class dismissed. That doesn't help me. See, see, I knew this was a good choice to pick intelligent, because this chick, she didn't want the athletic guys who were like big fat douches. No, 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 no. I want the smart guys who are the ones that get this shit done in like two minutes. That's what we're known for. Classroom is a buzz with a shovel of students. I turn towards my partner. I'm looking forward to working with you. Wait, what's the, what's the, what's the, uh, um, like, I don't know. I can't think. She Same beams. here. What do you think our topic should be? I don't actually know. <laughs> hmm. Pioneering pilots, the evolution of gears, the psychology. Ooh. Ooh, I like that one because she's, uh, she, her first class was like psychology or whatever. Um, Ceno Robotics. I have no clue what this is. But I like psychology. Let's go with that one. What if we focus more on the psychological impact of the development of growth of Ceno Robotics as a field? Her face Absolutely. lights up. Absolutely! This could also delve into social impact and how society is adapting to the growth of this field, such as the development of new specialties, like studies in pilot health. See, this is why I made my character be smart. What? <laughs> that should be right what up your about alley. You? Are you okay with that? Sounds interesting to me too. It sounds like we have our topic. Lit. Yeah, I'm feeling me good too. about this. We're going to have a great project. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be fantastic. By this time, most of the most of the class has already caught up with their partners and left the room. We should probably do the same. There might be another class that needs this room. Cool. I should. So I should probably head out. But I'm sure, sure. I'll see you again soon. Let me know when you're free to work on the project. Oh, you know what this means. Yes, sir. She smiles as we both gather our things. My phone vibrates as we leave the classroom. I glance at her, wonder if she already sent me a text, but she doesn't have her phone out. When I pull up my phone, I, re I see an unread message from show. Big news, Brosif. We're in first, pl first, first phase of the qualifier matches. Team is meeting at the hangar. Having my first official team meeting should be interesting, although I feel a couple of flutters in my stomach, and I'm more excited than nervous to see everyone. Once we're outside, Yuna turns to me. Do you have any more classes today? No, but I'm headed for the hangar. I've gotten to meet my team before the qualifiers. Good she luck. Nods. Thanks, Boo. This is where you, like, like, give her a hug or something. Okay, or don't. Head our separate ways. Okay, you gotta take it slower than that. I see. I see you, boy. You getting up there? <laughs> I hit my hair. My hair. Also, I like can't figure out how to use a hat. I don't even know what a hat is. By the time I arrive at the hangar, she's already waiting. My show's gear. This chick is bad news, bears is. My use the first notice gives me as notice me and gives me a small wave. Carrie and Show seem to be arguing about something, but sil the show silences her when I arrive. Hey guys. Carrie glances at, at me and nods. Woman, I will slap you! Rosif, you made it! Thanks, dog. Ayo, it wasn't really a choice. I came as soon as I could. Sure. I left as soon as you got your text. Big news, yeah, right? We got our assigned time slot. When is Later. it? Right now, we need to practice. Kari Itami. Your name sucks, too. You know that? <sighs> Understood. All right. Head to your gears and turn on okay, your simulator. Oh, goddamn Let's smile. Let's see what we're working with. Goddamn smile on your face. Jesus Christ. Before we go, how exactly do these matches it's work? It's based on how many points you accumulate. We'll be competing against pre-programmed AI gears. How many points? Okay. We're like boss level difficult to defeat. Ooh, And our shit. score is calculated by how many we beat, along with how well we fought overall. So things like accuracy, how many hits we take, okay. tactics, teamwork, those are all added up. So, make sure not to click miss. <laughs> so, how many points are all these those, those things worth? The exact breakdown, but everyone knows that defeating the AI gives you a buttload of points. Okay, so you want to defeat the AI if possible. Now hurry up and get in your gear. We really need to practice before it's our turn. Yeah, I mean, we did get like the first phase. Jeez. 
like the first slot. Good lord, there's so many people to go after us. Don't click miss. This is the that's the moral of this story. Here we go. I'm, I'm gonna make sure I don't click miss. I got this. After reaching my gear, I boot up the simulation. The usual stats float across my screen, but something about them seems off. Carrie's voice com comes through the comm. Where are your weapons? Um, uh, broken. I don't know. Up your anus hole. I don't know. Let me see if Why there's something you in the settings. Why did you do a comprehensive check on your gear? Oh my god, calm the fuck down. I did. It doesn't scan weaponry since it's not part of the mech's your core function. Your combat gear doesn't have weaponry set as a core function during checks. This sounded like a statement. Unless, like, a question. I don't know who you, who, who you think you are. But you're bad. I've never run into this issue before, although she does make up a good point. I try every setting combination I can think of, but my weapons try still aren't registering. Sometimes there's a lag while your gear warms up. That shouldn't be long. Or there shouldn't be lag. We wait anyway. After a few minutes it's clear my weapons aren't going to show do up. I don't know even what's going have on. Have weapons? Of course then I where do. Where are they? Suddenly my soft voice Maybe cuts through. They're still being processed at customs? I've heard that gear and their accessories are processed separately. Okay, so why did this one sound like a question, and then the last one that was supposed to be a question sounds like a statement? Ah! That makes sense. How long would it take I, to process? I don't know. Too long. We need those weapons now. God damn. Don't, don't worry. It'll down. be okay. No, totally. it won't. How will we fight without weapons? I'll figure something out. Let's just start the match. Fine. We're running out of time. Everyone ready? Everyone's calm. Relay. Building screen right. information. Let's start. This is my news bears. I'm gonna have to take one of those fancy little. Oh. Whoa. I'll get into this position and square off. Take on the AI as my closest enemy charges me with its sword raised. Dodge, order you. I barely managed to sidestep out of the way. This does not bode well. I retaliate with an uppercut and a punch to the solar plexus, which did. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's specific. Which does some damage, but nowhere near the crushing blow I received. The AI shakes off my attack and immediately swings again. Um, defend or block? It's where it's one arm in defense as, it sends, as a sword sends another wave of shimmers over my shield. Using my free hand, I jab the AI on the side. Just as before, Eagle takes an alarming amount of damage when my attack on the AI barely phases it. Oh. I dodge and block most attacks, however, I can't return attacks, I can only defend. I'm dead. It doesn't take much for my AI gear to wipe me out. <laughs> so I just, like, I'm literally, like, useless. I don't have, like, weapons, and this chick's about to yell at me. I'm scared. This is about to be bad. I'm gonna get yelled at by a fake woman. I don't like being yelled at. Don't, don't crucify me. We can't play a match like that. We hardly scored any points. Well, I mean, I wasn't even there, so blame yourself. Don't worry, Calvary. I'm sure he'll have his equipment soon. Not soon enough. The match is today. Maybe he shouldn't compete. We can tell them we have four members, but one of our gears is in no condition to fight. Oh my god, I'll fucking murder you. No, he has to. It's the only way. I mean, I can get like a point, like a singular point. Looks apologetically at me. Look, maybe you should just hang back. Without weapons, the AIs will ruin you. I can still help no. us get points. Show is right. You have to hang back. That will maximize our qualifier points, which is what's important right now. Show Did stares you shot. just agree with me? <gasps> Not now, Show. You never agree with me. Idiot! Why do you keep saying that? Moving engineers come toward us. What are your gears still doing here? Say what? They've got to be prepped for the next match. That means we're next. Let's go. What the about our gears? The engineers will handle it. So, my weapons are like being, so 